Welcome to my tutorial for Markham for the arcade. This is one of those games that loops and it's not really a good game to play for a high score because um, if you do make it to the second loop it seems to just want to completely destroy you and fuck you over so I don't even know if the second loop is playable. I didn't play it long enough but it, it just seemed ridiculous. So um, you know, for me, my goal was just to beat the game. I've, I've been going through a high volume of games, especially this month. I've been trying to break uh, 60 games or more this month. So I was just hunting on MAME looking for some easy kills. And this one took about 24 minutes to beat. It is tricky near the end. Um, it can be kind of difficult, but there's definitely some, uh, some strategies that I'll go through in this short video. This is showing the full playthrough and a little bit of the second loop. So in this game, the main thing is you want to um, destroy enemy spawns pretty much as soon as the enemies spawn. You want to try to kill them as fast as possible. And that's definitely a strategy you would use in a lot of shooters. But in this game, it's really essential because um, you really get overrun easily if you don't clear out all the enemies, especially later in the, uh, in the game. It's a very short game. Uh, it's only about uh, like five minutes. But... You do have some checkpoints. If you lose a life, you, you will start at the last checkpoint, but um, there are no power-ups. So the idea is whenever you see these satellites, these big satellites, you want to try to take them out immediately because they'll pull a lot of bullshit. So the idea is you can only take them out by shooting them with a missile at the bottom of the satellite. There's a little bulb on the bottom of the satellite, and that's the weak point. And you have to hit that with a missile. That's the only way to destroy it. See that little um, thing on the bottom? So you want to get good at taking them out quick because you could easily have, you know, multiple of them on the screen with all the enemies and then it becomes uh, ridiculous. So you want, to, you want to try to take them out immediately. There is some positioning bullshit that I'm going to detail in the end. I saw a cheated playthrough where somebody cheated and used invincibility, but I don't do that. So I'm going to explain how to actually do it. I am using a, um, a rapid fire setting on my controller, so that definitely increases the fire rate and is definitely helpful if you have that available. So you see I'm taking these satellites out immediately. And you're going to see these stationary things. They look kind of like these floating um, little things with you know red, red flashing lights. Um, for those, try to avoid destroying them. Because every time you destroy them, they shoot out a fast moving bullet. So I recommend just avoiding them and trying to stay away from them. I think if you get too close to them, they may explode too. Or they might blow up on their own sometimes. They're dangerous, so I try to avoid shooting them and focus on the enemies. That's what I recommend doing. See, I got cornered by one of them, and an enemy hit me. And that was the only death I had on, the, on this first loop. So it is easy to get um, cornered. Remember, you can shoot kind of diagonally up and down a little bit, which is unusual for a side-scrolling shooter, so use that to your advantage to uh, get low and take things out from, a, from an angle if you need to. Sometimes it's better to be either up or down a little bit in a safer area to take your shots. But the idea is to spread that fire out and just get bullets all over the screen and take everything out as fast as you can. And then you want to laser focus on these satellites. Just, you know, immediately target them and try to take them out because, you know, if you let them survive too long, you'll have multiple of them on the screen and it gets very hard. So... Now you're going to see where the, the spawn killing is essential once you get to the ice area. Get ready to do this. You want to be in the middle of the screen. And you'll see I almost lost here. See, I got, um, I almost died. I got all the way cornered like this. It was very hard to maneuver out of this, but I was able to dodge everything. But it's not the ideal situation. What you really want is to, um, is to stay in the middle like you see me doing now. And just have all the enemies going at your bullet. And just stay in the middle and make slight movements and adjustments to dodge the bullets. That's the idea, but I fucked it up. Now you see me getting back into the, the rhythm of it, but um, you see what happens if you don't keep up with it. So it's really about that spawn killing and, and, and killing the enemies as they're spawning in. And you should earn a one-up just from points for all the enemies you're killing. So now for this, very short final boss fight, but the idea is you want to continue um, shooting all the ships that are spawning in. But as you're doing that, um, you're going to notice that some of the ships are going to be spawning in from a little bit of a higher location, so adjust your ship height to, to take them out as, as, they, as they spawn in. Just be aware of how they're moving and spawning. 
And then as soon as that last bar shrinks down a little bit, it, it has this uh, pole that descends. Um, you're going to blow up the top of that pole as soon as it descends. That's when you're going to hit it, and that will kill it. It may have not been clear in the video, but that's what I was doing. So you, you cannot destroy the final boss, it seems, until um, it kind of like um, it lowers that pole a little bit, and then you can shoot the top of it. And it only takes maybe one shot to destroy the final boss at that point. So that's when you kill it. Now you can see, look how ridiculous this is. The bullets are homing in on my on my, on my my guy as I'm moving. It seems like you're just designed to get fucked, you know. On the second loop, the game, I think, just wants to completely destroy you. It doesn't want you to play anymore. So, um, I'm definitely not making a second loop tutorial. But, you know, as usual, my objective is just to beat games uh, the first time through. That's mainly what I'm going for most of the time. So that's, you know, those are my best tips for just trying to beat this game. It's really not too bad. I recommend using save states to practice, especially near the end. You want to get that down where you can, um, the hardest part is taking out that stream of ships you saw me taking out, where you want to just have, you know, you want to keep your bullets in the center and take them out and, you know, make slight, you know, dodging movements. And then you can take out the boss. You do get a checkpoint close to the final boss, but you still have to go through all those enemies um, that spawn in the middle of the screen. So um, just be ready for that. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.